Okay, we're going to start off today going through our sight word. So echo after me. One. Tomorrow. Where. Who. Two. Do. Four. Love. Are. Eight. What. Today. Together. From. You. They. Have. Of. To. Into. Was. Come. Some. The. Said. And then this is our new picture card we're going to learn about today. Dr. Er. Okay, yesterday we talked about the combination O-R sounding like or. Today we are going to have a new sound for the letters O-R. Um, yesterday I also told you that this booklet was for lesson 26. It is actually for lesson um, 27, okay, because it goes over the or, O-R-or or sound, the O-R-er sound, and the or after a W. Okay, remember that bossy W. Okay. Make sure you're studying your spelling words for this week. It's spelling list five. Yesterday we coded and pointed out some of the um, similarities of the words, of some of the words. So some of the words are alike, just like in the word truck, doc. And sack, they all, the final spelling in each one of those is CK. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to that. Let's go ahead and do um, our letter sounds and write them down. Echo after me. When I open my hand, you say the two letters or the letter that makes that sound and then write it down. Or. O R. Combination O R is actually what you should say. Combination O R. I. I. A. O. A. You, and I draw the breathe above the vowels. That way you know that we said these in the short sound. G, G, H, digraph, T, H, D, D, B, B, sh, oops, this is a D, this is a B, okay, I made a mistake, next one was sh, sh, digraph sh, o, z, Z comma S. Mm. Er. I. S. T. T. Mm. V, w, W, A, short sound A, K, okay, we have K comma C, final digraph, C, K, O,
x e short vowel e f f the voiced t h y er combination e r n r combination a r qu q u whoops q u p a long sound a e long sound e j j ch c h digraph c h and then for some reason we don't have a space for u long sound u Okay. Turn your pages over. Go to review words number one. Echo after me. Art. A R T. Number two. Corner. C O R N E R. Number three, fresh. Sorry, fresh. F R F E E S H. Sight words number four, come. C O M E. Number five, eight. This is the number eight, E-I-G-H-T. And number six, from, for, F-R-O-M. Don't forget to read and spell the high frequency word, box words, um, so you can practice, okay? Let's go ahead Take out our whiteboards and look at these words. Echo these words and listen for the sound in the final position. Doctor, tractor, actor. What sound do you hear in the final position? The er sound, exactly. Okay, so look at these words and see what is making the er sound. O and R. So what is the OR? A combination, okay? But I'm really confused. I thought combination OR said OR, as in the wor words torn, pork, and stork. So we have torn, pork, and Stork. Okay, so uh, let's code the combinations OR to see if we can figure out why they are making two different sounds. How do we code combinations? With an arc. Okay, so I have combination OR, OR, OR. I have OR over here, okay? Is there any other codings needed? Yes, there are in these words. These words do not have any other codings. These do. We have the V, C, C, V pattern. Divide between the two consonants. My O is followed by a consonant. I code it with a breathe. My C is followed by a consonant. So when a C is followed by an O, A, or U, 
for any consonant, you code it with a K back. Okay, now I can say this word, d doctor, doctor. Okay, here's another one. We have B, C, C, V pattern, division line. My A is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. My C is also followed by a consonant, code it with a K back. Tractor. Same thing here. B, C, C, V pattern. Division line. My A is followed by a consonant. I code it with a breathe. So the C is followed by a consonant. Code it with K back. You can say this word as actor. Okay. Where is the accent in one syllable words? All one syllable words are accented. And with these words, the accent is in the first syllable. Okay. Now I want you to examine these six words carefully. Some of these combination ORs say OR and some say ER. Let's see if we can figure out which ones make which sound. Combination OR says OR when it is in the accented syllable. These combination ORs are in the accented syllable and they say and they each say or. Let's say these words together. Torn, pork, stork. Do you see any other combination ORs that are in the accented syllable? So are these ORs in the accented syllable? No, they're not. This is the first part is the accented syllable. Okay, so um, so how do you think the other combination ORs are pronounced? Exactly, as ER, okay? If they're not in the accented syllable, they're pronounced as ER. So, Let's look at these six words again. The combination ORs and the accented syllables say OR, and the combination ORs and the unaccented syllable says ER. It is always necessary to know where the accent is to know how to, oh, sorry, is it always necessary to know where the accent is, to know how to pronounce it? No, it's not because if you don't know how to pronounce a word that contains combination OR, try the OR sound first because it is more common. If the word doesn't sound right, try the ER sound. If the word does make the OR sound, you should accent the syllable that the combination is in. Okay, and then if we don't know, if we should, blah, blah, blah. What should we do if neither sound makes a, a word we know? So if you tried or, if you tried or, and you tried er, and neither one of those sounds makes a no word you know, you should always get out a dictionary. Your student spelling dictionary will might work sometimes, but an actual dictionary would also help a lot because real dictionaries, like we learned last week with... Um, with the journey story, uh, it a dictionary helps you pronounce a word, okay? So, if neither sound makes a word you know, you can always look up the word in a dictionary to see how it is pronounced. Now, before we continue, I want you to look at these words. Okay, so let's read these words together. Word, work, world. What sound do you hear in the medial position? The er sound. What is making the er sound? Combination OR is making the er sound. 
Okay. So what do you think is making the combination OR say ER this time? Remember that bossy W? Okay, so in these words, bossy W gives combination OR the ER sound. Okay, so yes, these are all one syllable words, but the OR is not making the OR sound, right? And we just learned about OR making the OR sound in a one syllable word or in the accented part of the word. However, when you have a W in front of the OR, the W is going to be bossy and it's going to make the OR say the ER sound. Word, ER, work, ER, world, ER. Okay? So make sure you remember about the bossy W. Okay, going back to our worksheet for new words. Number seven, repeat after me. Worm. W-O-R-M. We have that bossy W making this O-R and R sound. Number eight, worth. W-O-R-T-H. And number nine, actor. A-C-T-O-R. Okay. Go to your worksheets. And remember, we code combination ORs, or we code combinations with an arc. We have combination OR with an arc, digraph TH. We can say this word, worth. Combination OR, the C is followed by an O, so remember, when a C is followed by an A, O, U, or any consonant, you code it with a K back. Now we can say this word. Corn, corn. We looked at this word earlier. We have the VCCV pattern with combination OR, division line, K back the C because it has a consonant following it. My vowels followed by a consonant, code it with the breathe. Now I can say this word as tr actor, tractor. And you can accent it. Okay. Combination AR is the only code on this word, and it's m arc mark. We have combination Q U. And then my vowels followed by a consonant, coded with a breathe, qu it, quit. And this open accented vowel is coded with a macron. And you say it as blue. Oh, here's a piece of corn, and here is a tractor. Let's go to the paragraph. A bird sat in its nest. A worm sat in the mud. The bird went after the worm and slid in the mud. The worm hid on a branch in, the, in a dark spot. The bird had no dinner. The blank slid in the mud. Let's go back out. And it says the bird went after the worm and slid in the mud. So the bird slid in the mud because it says the bird went after the worm and slid in the mud. So the bird slid in the mud. This was the answer to question seven. The worm hid on a, the worm hid on a branch. This was the answer to question eight. The bird had dinner. Well, in a dark spot, the bird had no dinner. No dinner, the answer to question nine. Did the bird get the worm? 
If the bird had no dinner, that means the bird did not get the worm. So this, the bird had no dinner, is also the answer to question 10. So 9 and 10. Okay, on the back, this is your homework. Code, read, answer the questions. Okay, prove your answers by underlining and telling me which question the answer came from. And just make sure you, you can read everything. All right? That's it for today.